So excited about the event tonight. National Film Awards. Let's go. Can you walk us through your outfit? Because you're looking stunning as always. I wish I was looking stunning. I'm looking okay. But um, I'd like to credit the designer Beyond Burlesque. And I've got some quiz shoes on and the hair and makeup I did myself in about 10 minutes. Sorry. Obviously, tonight celebrating a fantastic year in cinema. For you, were there any particular films or performances that really stood out in the past 12 months? We've had an amazing year in cinema. I'm particularly excited about The Inbetweeners 2. <laughs> and um, in regards to performances which have excelled over the last year, Kieran Knightley, Benedict Cumberbatch, flawless. We love seeing you on X Factor. Um, what's life been like? What? Yeah, we. we what's life been like since then? Life has been incredibly interesting since the X Factor. I could never sing in public before, and now I'm being booked for gigs. Like, are you people crazy? I think the question fans will have is, where can we see you? And is there a, a studio album? Is there anything in the works? I have actually been cast for an exciting Hollywood film, and I'll be shooting that in October, and I'll be around. What does your new film career mean for your music? Is that something that you're going to go back to? Well, actually, it's a musical film, so there are six musical numbers in the film, and I will be performing in one of them, which is an amazing honour. How did that come about? Was that something that you'd always been interested in, going on camera in front of the big screen? Well, I think if you can dream it, you can do it. And certain things come into your life for a reason, because you're meant to do them. And you can do them poorly or excel at them. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. That's a fantastic thing that's happened because you were involved in Next Factor. On the other side, um, particularly when you left the show, the tabloids really got hold of you and, and your private life. I'm, I'm curious, you know, how difficult is it to go for an experience like that? It truly was devastating, especially as some details are fabricated and um, sensationalist. So that was really, really awful, especially if you're going through a hard time to have it accentuated. Well, <laughs> you talk about things being fabricated. Is there anything that you'd like to set the record straight on? Is there anything that people have written about you that just isn't true? OK, this is really vulgar, but... Um, a newspaper wrote about me attending sex parties like called Killing Kittens and I thought it was something to do with animal rights. I was like, I would never kill a kitten, I think that's awful. But um, it turns out someone just made up a vicious rumour and the newspaper printed it and they later apologised, so that's okay. I mean, is that something that you would advise people signing up for this year's X Factor to be wary of, the fact that it does come with a lot of opportunities but there are some hidden dangers? Absolutely. As with everything, there are hidden dangers and you have to take precautions. If you've done something bad, you've done it. <laughs> and um, whatever you do, just be happy. And bear in mind that thousands of people audition for X Factor every year. And it's like rolling a dice and just be strong and love every minute of it. With all the highs and the lows, looking back, is there anything you regret or you'd change? I wouldn't change anything for the world. Um, I'm really proud of myself because I'm such a nervous person and I used to cry in shape for all of my performances, so I'm so happy I actually got on the stage. Do you think you would have had the confidence to be part of a big musical film if you hadn't gone through that kind of X Factor ordeal in the aftermath? I must say this, doing a big reality show like The X Factor, which is broadcast everywhere, including the US this year, which was an amazing platform for the participants, it will prepare you for anything. World War Three, no problem. <laughs> it's been lovely talking to you. We can let you get upstairs and inside. Um, my final question, do you have a message to fans before you leave us? Be happy and enjoy your life and love yourself.